Hey community, we're back. And as you know, I'm Brandy B, the community MP. And I'm Brandy G, the community MP. And today we're going to talk about hypothyroidism. Yep, also known as underactive thyroid. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes. Yeah. So what what is the thyroid? So the thyroid is a gland in your neck that makes the thyroid hormone. The thyroid hormone regulates your body's uses of and stores energy. So it regulates your body's uses and it stores energy. So it regulates your metabolism. Mm-hmm. So we all know what metabolism is, right? That's what? the way our body uses the energy. That's correct. Yes. Um, and so to me, people most often think of metabolism on how fat or skinny you are. Yes. Yes. So yes. yeah, so, it, I mean, it, it has to do with that. Um, so we're today, you know, there's hyperthyroidism and then there's hypothyroidism. Today we're focusing on hypothyroidism. So that's like, like we said before, that's when your thyroid is underactive. It doesn't work as good as it should. Yes. So basically hypothyroidism um, is when the thyroid does not make enough of the hormones. And so the hormones, um, T, TSH, uh, T4 and T3. And yeah, then, so that's, yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. Oh, I was just going to say that is often, um, hypothyroidism is often diagnosed with um, a blood test. Yes, and with those, trying to detect those hormones and see if those levels are up or down or if they're stable. Right. So I'm going to talk about some of the causes of hypothyroidism. Um, autoimmune diseases, such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a thyroidectomy, which means that your thyroid was removed, you had part of it removed or the whole thyroid removed can cause hypothyroidism. Any type of radio iodine treatment, that usually happens after hyperthyroidism. Mm -hmm. You may have that treatment. So that can cause you to have hypothyroidism, which is the low uh, underactive thyroid. Right. Um, neck radiation. Some people who have head, head and neck cancer, the radiation, it can destroy the thyroid tissue. So therefore, they may have hypothyroidism also. You want to talk about some causes, V? Yeah, and then like iodine deficiency, which is not very common uh, here in North America because of the uh, iodized salt that we <laughs> intake in <laughs> large quantities. So that that's usually in other areas, but in so in other areas, that is part, one of the causes. And then there's some medication, environmental exposures, there's some medical conditions, and also issues with your pituitary can cause you to have uh, hypothyroidism. So you have quite a few causes, things that can trigger you to have hypothyroidism. Yeah. Um, some of the symptoms, I know that a lot of times um, when I'm doing blood tests, I usually trick the thyroid yearly with a lot of my patients. Mm -hmm. So some people, they, 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 their tests come back as hypothyroidism, but they don't have any symptoms at all. So some people do not experience symptoms at all. Um, sometimes you can be tired. Most common, you can be fatigued or tired. Yeah, that is the most common symptom. Yeah. Yes. So a lot of people like when they, especially um, they, they, when they gain weight or they feel tired, don't have any energy. That's mm -hmm. the first thing they want to know. Oh, can you check my B12? Can you check my thyroid? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's usually what I get from my patients. Um, let's see. Shortness of breath is a symptom, especially exercise intolerance. You really can't exercise because you get short of breath. Just don't have the stamina to exercise. Right. Cold intolerance. You really when other people are hot. You cold. <laughs> yeah. Is that correct, B? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Constipation. Mm -hmm. um, hair loss or coarse, um, thin hair. Weight gain. You want to talk about some symptoms, B? Yeah, and um, so dry skin, and then in women, um, it can cause irregularities with with their periods. And then uh, one of the rare um, things that can happen is, so people with severe hypothyroidism, um, trauma or infection or exposure to uh, like extreme cold and certain medications can rarely trigger it, like a life-threatening condition called uh, myxedema coma. And which okay. what happens with that is the person usually loses consciousness and then um, they develop hypothermia. Mm, so that's, okay. that's an immediate trip to the emergency room for sure. Okay. So what happens if um, you have untreated hypothyroidism? 
what symptoms can occur if it's untreated? So sometimes if, if it's left untreated, it can lead to decreased uh, heart rate, elevated blood pressure, and elevated cholesterol. With women, um, like we said, it can cause irregular periods. It may, it may cause them to have difficulty getting pregnant. And then, um, like we said, untreated during pregnancy, it increases the risk of uh, miscarriage. Okay, so um, so usually when they're trying to treat hypothyroidism, usually treat it with medication, a thyroid supplement. Usually how they treat the hypothyroidism. Um, if you get pregnant, it decreases your need for a thyroid hormone. So the provider may increase your medication depending on your levels. That's true. So yeah, that's pretty much it for hypothyroidism. If you guys have any questions or um, concerns or anything, then just let us know. And okay. B, you know, we talked earlier about this not being a replacement for you to see your primary care provider. We are not trying to diagnose or treat anybody. We're just giving you basic information and, you know, just so that, you know, you, it brings up the conversations. Thanks. Yeah, so that's all we're trying to do. We want you to spark the conversation with your family and your friends about different health, health topics. Because a lot of people are dealing with these health topics and they know of them, but they really don't know in detail what the disease may cause, what symptoms it may cause. So it's just a spark conversation. So don't you, we're not replacing your primary care provider. We still want you guys to go out and see your primary care providers probably at least once a year, at least. That's the least. Once a year to see your that primary is. care providers. <laughs> yeah. That's the <laughs> minimum. Yes. For your preventative exam. But yes. So yes. So that was that was a short, quick video. I mean, um, recording for hypothyroidism. So it's pretty good. Yeah. And if you guys um, would, please like, share, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all platforms as b, &B the Community MPs. You can find us anywhere, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, out in the community. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Anything else, B? Well, I just want to say um, this, this episode today is being brought to us by Twisted Creations. Can you tell me a little bit about Christmas, Twisted Creations, Brandy? Yeah, so Twisted Creations is actually my and my husband's uh, t-shirt company, and we <laughs> make shirts that speak volumes. So Brandy's wearing one today to represent her sorority. The lovely ladies of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And I'm actually wearing my favorite that says Dope AF. You know, okay, I like that shirt. If you don't know what it means, you just got to look it up. Like, I think I ordered, I ordered one of those for um, Black Friday. You ordered one? Oh, thank yeah. you. So, yeah, if, um, yeah, we're on the web at www.twistedcreations.com. Same for Instagram and Facebook. So, like okay. and follow, shop, and we'll keep bringing there. information. Yes. Thank you. Bye.